skip? So the answer is option B, which is reap. Question 94. The given word is tax. Tax has uh, the short vowel sound her. And uh, the, so the options, option A, ask. Ask has a long ha, which negates the sound that we have in tax. Option B, box. Box does not rhyme with tax. Option C, lax. This rhymes with tax. And then lastly, back. And it doesn't rhyme with tax. So our answer is option C, tax, lax. Instruction. In each of the questions 95 to 97, Choose the most appropriate stress pattern from the options. The stressed syllables are written in capital letters. Question 95. Valedictory. You have been taught that wherever you have a suffix in a word, the suffix cannot be stressed. And so the syllable that comes immediately before the suffix should carry the stress pattern. So our answer is option B which is D I C. So the stress is on dick. So we have valedictory. The answer is option B. Question 96. Congratulation. The same thing is applicable to congratulation. We have a, a suffix behind congratulation and that is I O N. So the answer to this question is option C because the lay comes immediately before the shown, which is the suffix to the word. Question 97. Conspiracy. Conspiracy has two suffixes, and that is a re and c. This is because the base word for conspiracy is conspire, and so the spelling of conspire stops at c o n s p i, and then the r a c y forms the suffix. So, since we cannot stress the suffix, we are going to stress the syllable that comes immediately before the, the suffix, and that is a SPI. So, our answer is option D. C O N, written in small letters, SPI in capital letters, and then R A C Y in small letters. So, our stress pattern falls on SP. Instruction. In each of questions 98 to 100, the word in capital letters has a phatic stress. Choose the option to which the given sentence relates. Question 98. My mother bought, bought a bicycle yesterday. Bicycle is the word that has the emphatic stress. And so our focus is on bicycle. So the needful is that you are to substitute bicycle for another word. Any answer you are going to choose will not contain bicycle in it. Now to the options. Option A. When did my mother buy a bicycle? This cannot be an answer because bicycle is repeated. Option B. What did my mother buy yesterday? Yes, this is the answer but we are going to go through other options and explain why they cannot also be an answer. Option C. Whose mother bought a bicycle yesterday? Bicycle is also repeated here, so it cannot be an answer. Option D. Did my mother steal a bicycle yesterday? Bicycle is still repeated, so it cannot be an answer. Therefore, our answer is option B. What did my mother buy yesterday? Amina went to Abuja by her. The emphatic stress is on Amina, so we are going to substitute Amina for another word. Down to the options. Option A. Did Amina go to just by her? This cannot be an answer because Amina is repeated. Option B. Is Amina going to Abuja by her? This cannot also be an answer because Amina is repeated. Option C. Who went to Abuja by her? And option D. Did Amina go to Abuja by her? Options A, B and D contain Amina, which is a word that carries the emphatic stress. And that is why you cannot choose the three of them as an answer. So our answer is option C, which reads, Who went to Abuja by her? Then the answer would be Amina went to Abuja by her.
Question 100. Musa is staying in Enugu. Staying is emphasized. Staying is the word that has emphatic stress. Now to the options. Was Musa staying in Enugu? This cannot be our answer. Option B. Is Musa passing through Enugu? This is our answer. Option C. Is Musa staying on the outskirts of Enugu? This cannot be our answer. Option D. Is Aldo staying in Enugu? Since staying is a stressed word, then option A, option C, and option D are wrong because they repeat staying, while option B is correct, where we have staying replaced by passing through. Option B is the correct answer. UTME use of English past questions and we are making use of paper type B. I read the instruction. In each of questions 86 to 88, choose the option that has the same vowel sound as the one represented by the letters on the line. Question 86. The given word is a glacier. It is pronounced as a glacier and we have four options. Option A. It is pronounced as gleam. Gleam. Alphabets, which are actually vowels, are representing the long E. And so this uh, it does not rhyme with the sound underlined in glacier. Option B, flat. This does not rhyme with uh, the alphabet underlined in glacier. In short, under glacier we have a, a diphthong, which, which is hey. Option C, we have fame. This rhymes with glacier because the... Vowel sound in between the consonants reflect uh, the diphthong in glacier. And uh, on option D, we have glass. This does not rhyme with the sound that is underlined in glacier. So we have uh, option C as our answer. It is the one that rhymes with the diphthong in glacier. Question 87. The given word is Lord. It is not loud. It is Lord. The AU spelling in the word is uh, representing the long O sound. So we are looking for the option that has a long O sound. Option A, lavatory. This does not rhyme with the underlined sound. Option B, it doesn't rhyme with it too because it is pronounced as loud. And then the alphabets in between the consonant sound are representing a diphthong, the diphthong HO. Option C, it also has a diphthong which is hey, lathe. So this does not relate with the all long O sound that we are looking for. And then option D, call. Call has a long O sound which rhymes with the underlined spellings in Lord. So our answer is option D. Question 88, the given word is pronounced as coma, coma, and the uh, the underlined sound is a ho, the diphthong ho, represented by o in spelling. So we are looking for the word among the options that rhyme with this diphthong. Option A is pronounced as cornel, cornel, and then this does not rhyme with the diphthong in coma. Option B, it is pronounced as cogent. Cogent. This rhymes with the, the underlined sound in coma. Option C, it is pronounced as cam. Option D, is pronounced as coma. So, among these options, it is only option B that has the same sound underlined in coma, and that is a cogent. So, cogent and coma, coma are the same. We have option B as our answer. We are moving to another set of questions. And the instruction reads, 
In each of questions 89 to 91, choose the option that has the same consonant sound as the one represented by the letter underlined. Question 89. The given word is loose. Among the options, we have a mouse, option A. The sound in mouse is s, so it cannot be our answer. Option B, we have ness. This cannot also be our answer. Option C, the, the option is pronounced as noise. Noise rhymes with loose. Loose is z. The underlined, the underlined sound in loose is z. And then noise also has z. And option D, we have us. Option D, A and B reflect the sound s and not z. So it is only option C that reflects z. And uh, it is our final answer, option C. Question 90. The given word is guitar. Guitar. And the underlined alphabet is G. The G in guitar is representing G. G. Among the four options, we will start the analysis. The first option, jam. Jam. Jam does not have G in its spellings and pronunciation. Option B, strange. 